Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 29. Psalm 18, verse 29. I can't believe how many people brought up this subject today uh, in all of our prayer requests. It says, for by you, I can run against a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. Amen. For by you, I can run against a troop, but by my God, I can leap over a wall. Praise the Lord. And um, this is actually written twice in the Bible, but rather than repeating it, since I'm repeating it already, you can find it if you want to do a search. Same verse in a whole different book. Praise the Lord. I think it's in 1 Samuel or 2 Samuel. Anyway, um, so... Obviously, we can't run against the troop in our own strength, and we cannot leap over any wall of any significant height. I can probably leap a foot a wall, foot high wall, but that's not what we're talking about here. Uh, with God, we can do things that we couldn't do in our own strength. Praise the Lord. It goes it says later in the same psalm in verses thirty one through thirty three, for who is God except the Lord, and who is a rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of deer and sets me on my high places. Praise the Lord. Deer might have skinny little legs, but they can jump real high. They can climb, climb things. It's pretty amazing what they can do. And, um, and that's what God does with us, uh, with his Holy Spirit. And he can cause us to do the things that we couldn't do in our own strength. And thank God for that. <clears throat> excuse me philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me praise the lord it doesn't say some things or uh, most things it says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me there is nothing we can't do that god's called us to do because he's uh, because he will give us the strength to do it. Well, our jobs our families our finances what, whatever whatever it is our spiritual life, he can do it. And since we're in him and he is in us, we can do it through him. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's his promise to us. Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. Praise the Lord. And I felt in my spirit today that since this is Thanksgiving week, it might be that God wants us to, to take this into account as we come up on Thursday, a day of true thanksgiving to God. Notice that we can see multiple times in the Bible here in Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. In other words, we turn back and thank God and praise him for being our strength. Again, in Exodus 15, 2, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us today that is through your strength that we get through everything, every trial, everything that we face. And help us remember this as we, we come to Thursday where we're going to all thank you and uh, give us words to speak, to encourage, encourage others, and remember that you have been the one to give us the strength all the way on this journey. We've been through much, and we may go through much more, but it's your strength that it's doing it all. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made it this far and we won't make it any other way without your strength. Help us remember this on Thanksgiving and include it in our celebration of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Praise God for his strength. Amen. Praise the Lord.